What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and today I got some more really interesting DirectX 12 news. Now, I, I read an article, and I'm going to put you know the link in the, the description below, but basically it's talking about something called asynchronous shaders. All right. Um, I'm also going to put a, a really cool AMD video about asynchronous shaders in the description below as well and I highly suggest watching it to get a really good idea of what it is but it's a, a brand new piece of um, game development tech and uh, it seems that you know the developers over on Sony side have worked really hard to actually implement it into their games they've used it for um, infamous second son and uh, Battlefield 4 now with Battlefield 4 you can also say Battlefield Hardline since they use the exact same engine but anyway um, when it comes to asynchronous shaders DirectX 11 the the very the the API variation that they're using for the X1 now cannot implement such tech so when DirectX 12 comes out and they you know they're making the games for the X1 with DirectX 12 they're finally going to be able to use this asynchronous shaders technology which is really awesome. Basically, it gives the GPU a full line of commands. The GPU is never idle. It's never just sitting there waiting for commands, which is uh, really cool. It, it, it optimizes you know, the hardware, and it gives the GPU stuff to do all the time, which is just going to look better for games. Uh, you know, the... The, the graphics, everything like that. The, the GPU is, is going to be working all the time. Not only that, um, Avalanche Studios uh, has come out and talked about, you know, they're, they're implementing DirectX 12 into their game engine. And uh, they're talking about things called dynamic tessellation, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. For people who don't know, Avalanche Studios, they're, they're the studio that's making uh, Mad Max. Now, unfortunately, they said there are no plans for uh, a DX12 patch after Mad Max comes out. But games that they make after Mad Max are going to be utilizing DirectX 12 and their game engine. And they have seen a, a performance increase in their game engine. And they're really excited about it. Um, you know what? I'm going to put that article in, in the description as well, just to let you guys know. You guys can go through the description, you know, hit these three articles, and uh, let me know what you think. But this is really cool news. For people who think DirectX 12 is going to do nothing for the X1, you guys have another thing coming. Um, I thank you guys for being patient. I've been sick for a while. Uh, I'm back now. I'm not 100%, but I am back, and I will be making videos, and you are going to see my E3 predictions for Microsoft coming up very soon. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off. White and nerdy, just too white and nerdy, thinking just too white and nerdy.